Hello everyone, this is our operating system project. And we are looking forward to talking with you today about the interrupts. First, we need to know what is the interrupt? Simply the interrupt is an alert or a signal sent by an external device mostly I.O. device. This signal is sent to CPU to tell him that some process needs attention. The interrupt makes CPU stop its current activities, saving current process state then execute a function called interrupt handler or interrupt service routine to deal with the interrupt. Then after interrupt handler is finished, the CPU continue its normal activities after loading the previous state. That's how and why interruption occurs. Usually you may ask what is interrupt handler? As it's evident by the name, the interrupt handler is a way that operating system can handle interrupts. The interrupt handler inside the operating system is considered to be some code. This code prioritizes the interrupts and saves them inside a queue of course if there are more than one interrupt event. For the interrupts, there are many types of interrupts. But we have two major types. The two basic type of interrupts are hardware interrupts and software interrupts. Let's start with hardware interrupts. As we mentioned before, interrupt is a signal sent by an external device to CPU. If this external device is a hardware device, we call this interruption a hardware interrupt. Moreover, the hardware device could be for example a keyboard. When you press in a key of a keyboard to do specific action, this key will generate a signal which in turn travel to processor to do this action. In addition to the above hardware interrupts are classified into two types. Maskable and non-maskable interrupts. Briefly, maskable interrupt can be delayed when a much highest priority interrupt has occurred to the processor. While the non-maskable interrupts are the highest priority activities that need to be processed immediately and under any situation. A timeout signal generated from a watchdog timer is a clear example of a non-maskable interrupts. As for the other type of the interrupts, the software interrupt has happened when a signal is generated from a running program. This signal also sent to the processor. This signal is generated due to an error that occur while running a software. Also known as exceptions or traps. For example dividing by zero or infinite loop. Software interrupt can also divide it into two types. These types are normal interrupts and exception. Normal interrupts are caused by the software instructions. While exceptions unplanned interrupts like divided by zero. This, in short, what is known as interrupts. Now, let's imagine what would have happened if we have an operating system without interrupts. Without interrupts, a user may have to wait for a given application to have a higher priority over the CPU to be ran. Furthermore, the user may have to wait after each action. That's all. Thanks for your watching.